In this video, we're going to discuss how workers' compensation is calculated. My name is Matt Eason. I've been practicing employment and workers' compensation law here in the Sacramento Valley for over 25 years. And one of the first questions we're asked by clients is how is workers' compensation calculated? To redefine the question a little bit, there are actually two different benefits in workers' compensation that ultimately are calculated. The two types of benefits that need calculation is temporary disability payments and permanent disability payments. Temporary disability payments are calculated based on two-thirds of your average weekly earnings. When calculating your average weekly earnings, you look at not only what your base pay was, were you receiving additional incentive pay, were you receiving overtime, or did you have another job that you cannot perform? You take all of those into account, and then it's two-thirds of your average weekly earnings with some statutory maximums. What many people don't understand is that your permanent disability award is also a calculation based on formulas. Unlike in the personal injury world, where you receive a single number based on lost wages, medical bills, and a pain and suffering component, workers' compensation instead gives you a permanent disability award based on a calculation of what your disabilities are. To determine your disabilities, unfortunately, they're not looking at necessarily your loss of job benefits or your pain. Instead, they're looking at your limitations in the workforce. Permanent disability benefits are calculated based on your limitations in the workforce. And the limitations are usually coaxed in the terms of what things you can and cannot do or certain requirements that you may have. For example, do you have a limitation in walking, standing, or lifting? Then based on those limitations, they categorize the length, amount, or duration of those limitations. Are you limited to 10 pounds or 20 pounds or sometimes or occasionally? Do you have to stand and then sit and stand and then sit? Those limitations then go into a formula that calculates your percentage of disability rating, and that percentage of disability rating goes into another formula then calculates the amount of money that you'll receive in compensation for your permanent disability. If you've suffered an on-the-job injury here in California, and you're concerned that you're not being compensated correctly under the workers' compensation system, in other words, your temporary disability is not being paid correctly or your permanent disability is not enough, we hope you'll consider reaching out to one of the attorneys in our firm for a free consultation to help you calculate your permanent disability or temporary disability rates. My name again is Matt Eason. I'm with the law firm of Eason and Tamarini. We're located at 1234H Street, Sacramento, California, 95814. Our phone number is 916-438-1819, and you can find us on the web at www.capcitylaw.com.